Have you ever wondered how an ordinary man becomes an emperor? What were the circumstances that led to the rise of Emperor Maximian? Let's travel back to the humble beginnings of Marcus Aurelius Valerius Maximianus, known to us as Emperor Maximian. Born into a modest family in the bustling town of Sirmium Pannonia, his destiny seemed as ordinary as his upbringing, but Maximian was anything but ordinary. His path to greatness was paved with courage and determination, demonstrated in his impressive military career. His bravery and strategic acumen didn't go unnoticed, earning him the respect and recognition of his superiors. His meteoric rise through the ranks was nothing short of extraordinary, culminating in a pivotal moment in his life. In the year 285 CE, Diocletian, the Roman Emperor himself, appointed Maximian as Caesar, marking the beginning of his reign. A humble beginning, a meteoric rise, but what happens when power is finally achieved? Let's delve deeper. With the mantle of leadership now on his shoulders, how did Maximian shape the Roman Empire during his reign? The reign of Maximian was a time of significant change and progress for the Roman Empire. Ascending to the throne in the year 286, Maximian proved himself a capable leader, navigating the empire through a period fraught with internal strife and external threats. One of the defining aspects of Maximian's rule was his successful military campaigns. Maximian was a soldier first and an emperor second, having earned his stripes on the battlefield. His military prowess was evident in his campaigns against the Germanic tribes in Gaul and the Berbers in Africa. He demonstrated a unique ability to strategize and execute plans that led to decisive victories, reinforcing the might of the Roman Empire. Another significant aspect of Maximian's reign was the division of the Roman Empire into a tetrarchy, or rule of four. Recognizing the vastness of the empire and the challenges it presented, Maximian, along with his co-emperor Diocletian, established a system where the empire was governed by two senior emperors, or Augusti, and two junior emperors, or Caesars. This decision marked a significant shift in the governance of the empire, and was instrumental in maintaining stability across its vast territories. Maximian is often referred to as Maximian Herculius due to his association with the hero Hercules. He adopted the image of Hercules as his personal emblem, embodying the strength, courage and endurance of the legendary hero. This association was more than symbolic. It was a statement of his intent to rule with the strength of Hercules, to endure hardships, and to protect the empire from its enemies. Now let's look at how Maximian's rule impacted society and the empire. Under his reign, the Roman Empire saw significant social and economic changes. The establishment of the Tetrarchy brought about a more efficient administration, and the successful military campaigns led to an increase in the Empire's wealth and resources. His reign was also marked by the construction of grand public buildings and monuments, which embodied the prosperity of his rule. However, it was not all grandeur and glory. Maximian's reign saw the increased militarization of the Empire with a significant portion of the state's resources dedicated to the military. This militarization, while necessary for the security of the empire, also brought about social changes, with the upper classes becoming increasingly militarized and the lower classes burdened with increased taxes. His reign was also marked by religious intolerance, particularly towards Christians. This period saw some of the most severe persecutions of Christians in the empire's history, a dark chapter that left a lasting stain on his legacy. A reign marked by military victories and societal changes, but power often comes with its own set of challenges. What were the challenges that Emperor Maximian faced during his reign and how did he deal with them? As we delve into the reign of Emperor Maximian, it becomes apparent that his leadership was not without its trials. Like any ruler, Maximian faced a multitude of challenges, each demanding a unique solution. One of the most significant was the Bagaldi Rebellion. This was not a mere skirmish but a full-fledged uprising of the peasantry. The Bagaldi, fed up with oppressive taxation and the brutality of Roman rule, rose against Maximian. But the emperor was no stranger to conflict. With a calculated response, he quashed the rebellion, reasserting his authority and the might of Rome. Yet the Bagaudi Rebellion was not the only threat to Maximian's reign. The constant threat of barbarian invasions loomed large over the empire. The barbarians, relentless in their pursuits, were a persistent thorn in Maximian's side. But the emperor was not to be outdone. He led his troops to battle, 
pushing back the invaders time and time again. His military prowess was not just about brute force, but also about strategic planning and execution. Political tensions within the Tetrarchy, the four-way split of the Empire, added another layer of complexity to Maximian's reign. The power dynamics within the Tetrarchy were constantly shifting, creating an environment of uncertainty. Maximian, however, showed his political acumen by managing these tensions. He navigated the intricate political landscape, maintaining a delicate balance of power. Maximian's reign was a testament to his ability to adapt and respond to challenges. He faced rebellion, external threats and internal politics, yet he remained steadfast. His ability to manage these challenges showed a leader who was both a skilled warrior and a savvy politician. Maximian managed to navigate through a myriad of challenges, but every reign has an end. What led to the fall of this powerful ruler? How does a reign marked by power and victories come to an end? What were the circumstances leading to Maximian's fall? These are questions that have intrigued historians for centuries. Let's delve into the final chapter of Maximian's story. Maximian's fall began with a decision that would change the course of his life. In the early 4th century, under the rule of the Tetrarchy, he and his co-emperor Diocletian decided to step down. They announced their abdication in a public ceremony in 305 CE. It was an unprecedented move, unheard of in the annals of Roman history. However, the tranquility of retirement was short-lived for Maximian. He was compelled to return to the political scene, driven by his ambitious son Maxentius, who had seized control of Rome. In 306 CE, Maxentius declared his father Maximian, the senior emperor. This was a blatant disregard for the Tetrarchy system, that divided power among four rulers. But Maximian's desire to regain full power led him to a path of treachery. He attempted to overthrow his own son, but the plot was discovered, and Maximian was forced to flee Rome. His next move was to seek refuge with his former colleague Constantine in Gaul. There, in a desperate bid for power, he tried to seize the throne from Constantine. However, this attempt also failed. In 310 CE, Maximian's attempts to regain power came to a bitter end. The circumstances around his death are shrouded in mystery. Some sources suggest he was captured and executed, while others propose he took his own life. However it happened, the fall of Maximian was complete. From a powerful emperor to a fugitive, Maximian's journey was marked by ambition, treachery and failure. His downfall serves as a stark reminder of the precarious nature of power and the consequences of unchecked ambition. The fall of Maximian marked the end of an era, but his impact on the Roman Empire was far from over. His story continues to echo through the corridors of time, a poignant tale of the rise and fall of an emperor. How does one measure the impact of a ruler like Maximian on the Roman Empire and its society? This question invites us to delve into the profound legacy left behind by this enigmatic figure. As we navigate through the annals of history, we find that Maximian's influence was pervasive, shaping the military, administrative and societal structures of the Roman Empire. His reign was characterized by a strong military presence, which he used to secure the borders and maintain internal stability. He initiated significant military reforms, prioritizing the establishment of a strong, resilient force. These changes not only bolstered the empire's defenses, but also fostered a sense of unity and pride among the Roman legions. In terms of administration, Maximian's rule was marked by a decentralization of power. He recognized that the vastness of the empire demanded an innovative approach. So he divided the empire into smaller, more manageable territories, each governed by a trusted deputy. This system, known as the Tetrarchy, was a radical departure from the traditional singular rule, and it set a precedent for future emperors, demonstrating a flexibility and adaptability hitherto unseen in Roman governance. Societally, Maximian's reign brought about significant changes. He was a patron of the arts and culture, fostering an environment where creativity could flourish. He also implemented policies that aimed to improve the living conditions of the common people, demonstrating his concern for the welfare of his subjects. Yet, as with any historical figure, Maximian's legacy is not without controversy. His rule was marked by periods of conflict and instability, and his aggressive military campaigns often led to heavy casualties. Historians today continue to debate the merits and faults of his reign, reflecting the complexity of his rule. Emperor Maximian, a figure of power, ambition and controversy, left an indelible mark on the Roman Empire, shaping its history in ways that continue to resonate today. 
We are left to ponder the impact of this remarkable figure, a testament to the enduring legacy of the Roman Empire. His story reminds us of the power of leadership and the profound influence one individual can have on the course of history.